We celebrate Lunar New Year, and this is about our Yang Gang and supporting Andrew. So let us be reminded about celebrating Lunar New Year with our families, but also the commitment that we have to each other to speaking out and sometimes being uncomfortable outside of the typical culture of our Asia Pacific Islander community by just doing the hard work and keeping to ourselves. But no, we know that we must get into good trouble and we'll do that in helping Andrew get elected. So, but I can think of no better person, quite frankly, to be the next mayor of our city and to be the next uh, leader for our city, for the Asian American community and all of our communities uh, than Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang, uh, is number one in basically every poll, whether it's a private poll or a public poll. There was a poll that just came out yesterday that had Andrew at 28% and the next closest challenger at 11%, sorry, at 17%. So we're ahead by double digits. And this polling that we've seen and, you know, it shows that Andrew's doing well with almost every demographic group, frankly, uh, whether you're Asian American, Latino, black or white, um, we are building a multiracial, you know, uh, coalition here uh, that reflects the great diversity of New York and our country. I do think that our community has been hit particularly hard in multiple ways. So the first thing is that it, that Asian Americans in New York City may be the poorest of any community, which is not something that people readily realize but at least one report had the poverty level at 25% in New York City. And we know that if you had lower levels of resources, you were more likely to suffer during this pandemic, which unfortunately played out in the Asian American community where there was a fatality rate that was higher than normal. Uh, and the Asian American community has often suffered in relative silence. Uh, so there, there's the poverty and now there's the surge in folks um, having their businesses and livelihood shut down um, in, in parts of New York City. Uh, in, in part, I think, because there was this ill-founded belief that um, Asian communities were a hub for the coronavirus early on. And now we're even seeing incidents of racism against people in the Asian American community that often are reported on social media uh, and we, we know that there is a pattern that is playing out in New York, in Oakland, other parts of the country, and that when people suffer, often they look to blame folks who are unlike themselves. And unfortunately, that has been Asian Americans in different circumstances, whether it's on the street, just minding their own business uh, or on a New York City subway. So this has been a painful time for us all, um, but I, I do think the Asian American community is getting hit particularly hard in New York City. And I want to do everything I can to help make it better. Certainly number one would be recognizing that any racially based crime against Asian American uh, is a hate crime and needs to be treated as such and prosecuted to the full extent uh, of uh, the law as such. And it would give me an enormous sense of pride to be the first Asian American mayor of New York City. Uh, I, I think that our community again, right now is 14% of New York City, uh, but we vote at much lower levels than that. The, the no, last number I saw said we vote at about half that level um, at 7%. And if we can change that, I think we can transform New York City's politics forever uh, in a very positive way. Uh, this, the single best way that you can help is that if we fundraise robustly, we'll have resources to get our own message out down the stretch. Uh, and if we have that, then I think we'll be in great shape. Um, number one is New York City is the most important city uh, in the US and one of the most important cities in the world. Um, if New York City does not recover, the country may not recover in the shape that we want. Um, we have a real opportunity to do an enormous amount of good in the most important city in the country uh, and it's a four and a half month sprint. Um, the second thing I will say is that this race is right there for us. The scale of these local races is not that enormous. I looked at the other campaigns. Um, none of them have any more donors than let's call it like uh, eight or 9,000. 
like these are not enormous campaigns. The spending limit for this mayoral race for someone who's participating in the matching system, which I am, is $11 million. If you decide to volunteer or you make a donation or you bug a few friends, particularly in New York, for donations, you can have an enormous impact on this race. A very, very winnable race that could have a, a huge influence on the direction of the biggest city in the country and one of the most important cities in the world. So that is in front of us right now, right now. Let's take full advantage of this opportunity. I hope you will join us. Uh, if you've supported me in the past, please support me now because this is it. This is the time. We're not just here to celebrate the year of the ox. We're here to celebrate an opportunity to help push a city of 8.4 million in a better direction. Uh, and if we succeed in this, then I believe we're, we're going to have that impact felt all over the world.